Five new subway lines have opened in the Chinese capital. They'll provide mass transit in the suburbs and connect the outskirts with central Beijing. Xinhua News Agency reports the lines cost more than nine billion U.S. dollars to build. They add more than a hundred kilometers, more than sixty miles of track to the system. That brings it to 14 lines in total, carrying millions of passengers every day. But will the subway help bring Beijing's infamous traffic jams under control? Even the city's deputy transport commissioner Li Xiaosong can't promise that. We believe this will undoubtedly be very helpful, but we are still facing a lot of pressure as the number of vehicles in Beijing is still increasing in an explosive way. We have many challenges in improving the capacity of the city's transport supply, and there is still a lot to be done. No one denies automobile traffic is a major headache in Beijing. The city's car numbers have nearly doubled in the last five years alone, as the burgeoning middle class has prioritized purchasing their own wheels. In addition to the pollution problem, authorities now worry the capital's future growth could be stymied as it gets tougher to move people and goods around the city. Even if it's not the total solution, moving underground can help a bit. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.